Good morning, South Florida. Taking a live view of downtown Miami. This is our Biscayne Bay camera, and we're under a few clouds, just a few, but uh, the sun light just peeking over the horizon. The sun will rise in the next uh, 20 minutes, and temperatures are starting off in the 60s all across the area. Inland temperatures in the upper 50s, but along the coast, things are warming up, especially up north into Pompano Beach, where you notice it's 69 degrees, but heading down into Fort Lauderdale, it's 62. So why is that happening? Well, the wind already turning out of the east in Pompano, and once it does that, at least in the morning hours, it tends to warm things up along the coast. But elsewhere, the winds are either very light or calm and mainly out of the north. Now, throughout the day, that wind direction will turn out of the east. In fact, uh, above us, aloft, the flow is already out of the east. We can tell because on satellite, we have these clouds rolling along that east wind aloft. And notice on radar, there's nothing so it is staying dry all thanks to high pressure that's situated uh, just along the coast in the mid atlantic and it's starting to exit the area this is why it's going to bring back that east wind this afternoon this is the system a winter storm already bringing snow into the dakotas and nebraska that's going to bring us a major cool down and of course that cold blast will sweep across the central u.s and out east as well there's that cold front we're waiting for it it's arriving christmas Eve night. Look at the temperatures behind the front uh, falling into the teens right now in Billing. So temperatures continue to drop. It's 45 degrees in Minneapolis. That's because the cold air has not arrived just yet, but quite a difference there. And so this is going to be significant across much of the United States. Also, the jet stream dipping all the way far south is allowing for that Arctic air to drop down into the southeast and for us to receive the coldest air so far this season in South Florida. Before today, mainly dry and warm with highs in the upper 70s, even warmer tomorrow with a chance of showers, especially by Christmas Eve night when that strong cold front passes through. By Christmas morning, it's going to be chilly in the 50s and uh, it will be clearing as well. So highs today, 77 degrees. Highs tomorrow in the lower 80s and then we drop into the 50s. There could be a storm overnight Christmas Eve night, then Christmas Day only in the 60s.